For the rice, I have a tablespoon of oil, uh, some converted rice, long grain rice. I have the, uh, the cup of water with uh, the chicken base and the salsa mixed together. Okay, uh, first thing you want to do is get your rice on. So in this uh, sauce pot, I have oil, a little vegetable oil. Add your rice to it. And what you want to do here is you want to toast your rice slightly. So you get it nicely toasted, you'll have that nice nutty aroma once you get to that part. Now be very careful though not to burn it. So what you want to do is just get your flame right around medium and just let it rest a little bit. Once you start to see the um, rice pop a little, then just move it over and just kind of stir it up. And just get this going here. Stay over the rice. Do not leave it or you will burn it. Okay, once it gets to that nutty, you smell that nice little nuttiness in the rice, then you're going to add your salsa chicken stock mixture. Now once it comes to a simmer, all you have to do, okay, just like that, then you're going to lower the flame. Don't let it boil too long or you're going to, it's going to evaporate. Right around here, then you put the lid on it. You can either put it in the oven for 19 minutes at 350 degrees, or you may leave it on the stove top for 15 minutes. And then once it's done, just turn off the stove, let it rest until you're ready to serve. You can let it rest anywhere from 10 minutes to at least an hour. It's not going to affect the rice. This is what the rice should look like once it's completed. Okay, 19 minutes in the oven, 15 minutes on the stove top, and let it rest for 10 minutes. For the fajitas, I have a chicken breast, and in a container I have chili powder, granulated garlic, comino, oregano, salt and pepper, and a pinch of cinnamon, which is optional. You also have a, a half of a bell pepper that you're going to julienne, and then a half a onion that you're going to slice. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and slice your bell peppers and your onion. So I'm just going to take the seeds out of this. Now unlike the stir fry you don't have to take out the ribs because this is more of a rustic dish. Okay. So again you can take off the core on this. You're going to do a slice. Take off that first layer of skin off of the onion. And you're going to do a slice. So you're going to go ahead and make sure your knife is clean like this. And break them down. Make sure you break all the pieces down so that you can have even distribution of vegetables. Set them aside. Bell peppers. Again, you don't have to take off the ribs. Just do them as thin or as thick as you like. Place them in the bowl. And then finally the chicken. You are going to slice it thin. So if it's this long you might want to cut it in half and then slice them really thin. Even if you want to cut it thin this way, you can cut it that way too if it's really thick. And then cut them into nice thin strips. Just 
just like that. Okay, the next, next step is to actually get your chicken, place it into a bowl. You're going to add your spice rub. Now you don't necessarily need to use all of it, just use a little bit and then you can add more if you need to. And add your vegetable oil. Just like so. And then stir it up. You can use your tongs if you'd like. Now this one has the this one has the cinnamon in it. Gives it a nice little smoky flavor. Just like that. You may need to use a little oil in your pan, but what you want to do is you want to start it off just in the oil. And that's the next thing we're gonna do. Okay, and then finally, you're going to add your chicken into the pan. Notice I'm not using oil. We have oil on the chicken, so you want to initially get it. You want to go pretty much medium high um, in your pan. And you want to put it in so that each chicken, try not to stack the chicken, if at all possible. So a bigger pan will work better. Just like that. And any additional oil. Okay, so don't turn it over too soon. Let it get a nice little brown. You almost want a little bit of a char also. You'll get some of that char from the spices that we have in there. The, uh, pep, or the uh, chili powder, the cumin. Okay, and then you can start turning them. This is what you're looking for. A nice, beautiful color. You don't want it to be just like that. So chicken goes in first. Sear it. This won't take long if you... Um, Cut it thin. If you cut it too thick, then it's going to take longer. And if you cut it thinner, it actually is more tender. So this is what you're looking for. Just like that. Once you turn it around, let it go for about another minute. Then you can add your vegetables, and then that's where you'll need to possibly add a little more oil. And then you can adjust with your seasoning if you need to add more. So let that go for another 30 seconds, then we'll add the vegetables. Okay, we'll have the, veg the veggies right on top. We'll eventually get those going. Now you can start 
the top and get these vegetables. Remember the veggies should be shouldn't be really too uh, cooked. You want them kind of crispy, so cook them at least halfway. Don't wilt them, so to speak, until they're cooked and limp. You want them nice and firm. So you want to get a little sweat out of them. You want a little crunchiness, yet you do want to still cook. Just like that. Just about ready. This chicken is cooked and your dish is ready. Next step is plate up. Okay, for the plate up, real simple. Just going to get your rice, place it on the plate. Perfectly cooked rice here. Keep it within the rim. Get your fajitas. Set it on top. Make sure you expose those beautiful colors on the top of the vegetables. Just like that. And finally, if you want to hit it with a cilantro garnish, you can hit it with the cilantro garnish right here. Ladies and gentlemen, chicken fajitas with Spanish rice.